I'm Todd Engel. I practice in Charlotte, North Carolina. We have an institute inside of a dental center. We do everything from hygiene checks, cleanings, all the way up to full mouth implant surgery, and everything in between. When we're extracting teeth, much like any other surgery, we always want to have some type of an advantage. And when I talk about advantage, I'm really talking more about healing. When you extract teeth, you're typically uh, creating a bed for something else to go in later, such as a dental implant. One of the problems uh, that we encounter is the breaking of buccal plate or buccal bone, which is really, really important that we keep intact because when it comes to grafting for future implant sites, the buccal bone is imperative. The other thing that's uh, really helpful to us is that managing the patient, meaning when the patient leaves the operatory and goes home that evening or the next day, we want to make sure that the patient's comfortable. Uh, so the way that we take out tooth, we want to make sure that it's minimally invasive, not only for us, but for the patients as well. Action put the cube in my hand and I couldn't be more excited, but essentially has a, a mind of its own. It's uh, what we call DPSI, it's dynamic power setting inside the machine. And what this does is it can regulate itself plus or minus 30% of its power. So all I've got to do is put the appropriate tip in the appropriate spot and it actually has a mind of its own and will create the power necessary to cut hard tissue while leaving soft tissue alone, including a sinus membrane and a nerve. So I think some clinicians underestimate the power of anesthesia. I take a lot of time and make sure the patient's very numb, very comfortable, and this really does make the surgeon's life a lot easier as well because the patient's going to be much more calm. The next thing that I do is I use my Orban knife and I go around the sulcus of the tooth and I make sure that all the soft tissue is freed up before I use the cube down in the PDL space. Acteon made this so simple. All we have is two settings. One setting is for the type of bone that we're gonna be working in, D1, D2, D3, D4 bone. The second setting is irrigation. And based on the procedure that we're doing and the tip that we're using, we adjust the irrigation. It's that simple. Now, I'm gonna alternate between my LC2R and my LC2L, and I'm going to place the tip down in the sulcus between the cementum and the tooth and enlarge the periodontal ligament to make extraction far easier for me. Now, I will grab a forcep and simply rotate the tooth out of its socket while preserving all of the buccal plate. Normally these teeth are really hard to remove. The thing that is best for me with the cube is the post-operative comfort with the patient. You know, some of these patients, like these geriatric patients that we treat, um, we are limited as to how we can handle or manage their post-surgical pain. And what I've seen with this instrument is that these patients have zero complaints about post-operative discomfort. And that is really important, especially in the relations between the professional and the patient. I call it the P-cubed. Preservation, predictability, and patient care. Couldn't work without it.